Flip Kitchen uh, has been around since 1985, and it's just a way that Little Caesars wants to give back to the local communities. We spend pretty much the whole month of February giving back to Detroit, so it's, it's really wonderful to be back where we started. Have a great day. Is the pizza good? Yeah. yeah. We are here at the rescue mission with the Little Caesars Love Kitchen and they are out there preparing pizza with love. We have 18 different programs, serve about 2,200 people per day. People are, are hungry today and they want to get off the streets and with the Love Kitchen coming here offering food this afternoon, that'll bring extra people in that we can engage and hopefully get them off the street. Having Little Caesars here, not only bring the pizza, but serve the pizza. It just makes them feel very, very special. Nice to meet you. I'm Jeff. I'm the Love Kitchen truck driver. My man. Okay. So the Love Kitchen is actually a franchise-based program. We provide the Love Kitchen, the truck itself, and then the franchisees provide the product, um, the employees to help the event. So it's really a great combination of both working together. On three, I want everyone to tell me what's for lunch today, okay? Three. Pizza, pizza! My name is Jeff Silverman. I've been a franchisee since 2014. Today we're going to be doing a survey with Lutz. We provided training to the kids that go to school there. Lutz School is a work experience school for special needs adults. So our goal is to replicate as many different work environments and scenarios for our students in the school and out in the community. One of the students here um, named Zach, he was coming to our location with his father every Saturday night religiously. And he would come in wearing a three-piece suit, a hat, and I, I really took a liking to him. Uh, so Zach's going to be a part of that process today. He's an employee of Little Caesars, so he's going to be on the truck delivering to all of his friends. It's going to be a great opportunity for him to showcase if you work hard and your vision is to be employed, that a lot of great things can happen. Our students, they are the exact representation of love. I think there, there couldn't be a better match for what we do with Little Caesars and what Little Caesars is going to be able to do for us today. It's awesome. I mean, they get so excited and they're like, oh, they've never seen a truck like this. The shock and all, wow, this is a pizza kitchen on wheels. We're at the Matrix Center, which is an outstanding facility. Uh, it's a multi-purpose center for the homeless. Uh, in Detroit and they'll be coming by shortly to get great hot fresh pizzas in addition to some warm clothing. So it's good to talk to the guys who are decision makers downtown and give them an opportunity to see what we're doing and where some of the needs and opportunities are right here on the northeast side of Detroit. So today is an annual sort of holiday for our kids because the Little Caesars Love Kitchen a pizza truck comes by, feeds them, feeds the neighborhood, feeds the community. Say Detroit Play Center is a youth development organization founded by Mitch Album. And what it does is gives an opportunity for youth from this side of the city to come and partake in academics, get their reading levels up, but then also participate in arts, our music department, as well as our sports. They have to study with tutors one-on-one. -on -one. They have to get their grades above a 3.0. Then they can take part in the basketball, the football, the baseball, the soccer, all the other things here. We've got programming that stretches across not just learning to read, but learning how to be a professional for our high schoolers, learning to think about your city and how it's growing and changing. This isn't just about, hey, we're having pizza in the afternoon, it's a special day. This is about having food, period, a meal to eat. Pizza is bread, and we are breaking bread together. We are communing together and building community together. When you have something like the Love Kitchen, and it's out on the street, stopping at shelters, stopping at soup kitchens, and, and feeding the hungry people, that says a whole lot more than press conferences. It's proof. Poor, hungry people who are being fed for free by the Illiches and by Little Caesars, and they didn't have to do it. I think that goes a long way towards saying uh, how involved they really are in the community that they serve. Going back to our founders, Mr. and Mrs. Illich, one of the real parts of our beginning was the fact that we give back to the communities in which we operate. And everywhere we go, we're welcomed with open arms, not only by those that are in need and that we're feeding, but 
others that become aware of the user's effort in your community.